How do you, Frank? Show. Thank you for joining us. Stephen Lynch is in studio with us. It almost worked. I was sitting here. I was teasing that the fact you were going to be here. They're like, he's not here yet. I heard you guys on the radio, and I was freaking out in my car on the way over here. It's one of those uh, traffic things. Where do you uh, call home? Michigan. Michigan. You drove here from Michigan? My God, when did you leave? I gave myself an extra 15 minutes, (laughs) and I still was almost late. You have a show tonight at the Avalon. I have uh, tickets to give away. I have uh, six pairs of tickets to give away. So if you'd like those, go ahead and call in. 1-800-955-5567. We're going to give those to the first uh, six to come through. But, yeah, Stephen, you're known for your songs, mocking uh, daily life and pop culture. I'm reading it right off your bio. It says that. That sounds familiar. Does it? Did you write sounds like something a publicist would write. Oh, you didn't write this yourself? No, I did not. Because I was wondering what, why, I mean, you put your middle name in there, too. I mean, it's not a bad middle name, but it's really? like, what, am I really going to go back to Did your mom write Stephen Andrew Lynch? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Stephen Andrew, <laughs> why are you singing about that? Bo- oh, <laughs> yes, that's exactly what she I does. did not raise you that way. I like that song. It has a nice melody. Why uh, do you have to use those words? Yeah. <laughs> now, when you, uh. All moms are the same that way. <laughs> when did you first pick up a guitar and start playing around? Um, when I was in college, I lived in a house in Kalamazoo where I live now with a bunch of like scrubby punk rock dudes, and they all played guitars. And you still live in the house? Same house, same guys. <laughs> it's like where I live now. <laughs> never moved Things now. aren't going well for me. <laughs> yeah, and then I just started. You know, I wanted to be a serious like singer songwriter. Yeah, but then the songs I would write just to be stupid were the ones only ones that people enjoyed right so i said all right screw it i guess i'll do that then and just was your first song that you ever uh, wrote that people were like oh play that one and you're like oh my god yeah i can't really? believe that one w- what was the first hit, hit B- beefy burrito what was it called did, did my mom write this bio for real <laughs> i love she beefy did write it <laughs> beefy burrito yeah it was like 12 when i wrote that i can't believe that's on there I gotta change this. Bio. You wrote "Beefy Burrito" when you were twelve years old. Yeah, <laughs> I was thinking about something you couldn't even sing on the radio. I was like, "Beefy." It's not. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, I was like, that sounds like something you'd probably find in the Urban Dictionary. I, I was not. A beefy I was not burrito. Raised well, clearly. <laughs> so you brought uh, this lovely woman with you. Yeah, this is Courtney, Courtney. J. She's a singer songwriter. I met her down in Nashville, and we started singing together these goofy, weird, dirty songs mm-hmm. and realized that we sounded pretty good together. So right. now I take her on tour with me. And she Got has it. a new record coming out as well. So you're, you're going to be a part of the show tomorrow too, Courtney? Tonight. Or tonight? Tonight, tonight. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yes. What's your what's Well, your tomorrow, album depending on traffic. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Exactly. What's your album called, Courtney? Uh, it's called Love and Forgiveness, the total antithesis to oh. what I sing with Steven. All right, nice. A totally different <laughs> Well-rounded. <world>. Yeah, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Then you met in Nashville, so you were just doing a, a, your comedy show in Nashville. And no, then... I was down there to record my new record, and I, I was talking to some musicians down there, and I said, I need, I've written some duets that I would love to put on this record, but I don't have anybody to sing them with, and she came high recommended and we sat down and you know with the first f word it was like Graham, oh. Graham Parsons and Emily oh. Harris <laughs> fireworks fireworks oh, chemistry a, yeah a match well if you well, can they, uh, clean it up a touch I'd love to hear I it. mean yeah I'm gonna do my best <laughs> well, yeah because I mean I guess there's always that fear of like you know asking somebody to change lyrics or doing a radio edit that it kind of takes away something from the original but uh, I think I can fudge my way through it fudge, fudge will be one of the it, words probably and I will throw a fudge or two into the Stephen Lynch. All right. This song, I think, is appropriate for our first trip to Los Angeles. Let me take my headphones off here.
breast milk and lentils and ginto food. I respect every creature from horsefly to cow, but I'd blow a goat for some bacon right now. Yeah, I'd blow a goat for some bacon right now. Just southern fried chicken and well, I'll just have fruit. How's that T-bone? No, really, it's cool. I'll just chew on this turnip root with a couple chickpeas. Kill me, please. I'm tired of hummus and bulgur wheat, tofurkey, tofu. Yourself, I want some meat. I respect every creature, the birds and the bees, but I'd eat this out some whopper with cheese. Believe me, I'd cook up that whopper with cheese. Oh, that was just a little sample of the Heidi and Frank show on 95.5 KLOS. To get more samples like this and hear all the fun we have, you can do that at 955KLOS.com. Now, to get the show in its entirety, on demand, and if you want to watch the show, we webcast it every day, all you have to do is go to HeidiandFrank.com and become a premium package member. Do it right now. <laughs> 